Okay, so the next step in getting our arch done is to lay out the actual arch. So this is over 16 foot long, so to use a trammel arm to actually do, to mark this arch would be ridiculously big. So what I've found uh, to work really well is to use SketchUp and to use the arch and then we're gonna break the arch into four inch increments. So every four inches, I'm gonna make a mark here across this uh, straight line across the bottom cord. Then we'll plumb up and from SketchUp, I have the dimension of each of those measurements. So I can mark those measurements the whole way across and then bend a piece of wood across and that'll give me the arch that I need. So starting out, I've got uh, the segmented arch up here and then I've got just one piece of, across the bottom and I went ahead and nailed that to the workbench to make sure that it doesn't move. So first thing is I've got my center point here and I like to have a, with my segmented arch, have a splice in the center. That way I always know exactly where the center is of this arch. If I had one piece going across the center, I wouldn't ever be able to tell very well. So with this, I can, uh, I can plumb down, get my center line, then I'm gonna make marks every four inches on this board. Now at this point, I've got all my marks on here every four inches, and now I need to plumb them up uh, so that I have them on the actual segmented arch. So to do that, I'm gonna use the largest square I have, which is this woodpecker square. And I'm just gonna start marking up on each line. So I've got my bottom cord marked every four inches. I wanna show you what this drawing actually looks like. So this is half of my arch. Starting at the center point, you'll see every four inches I've got a measurement on here. So I go ahead and number that all the way across, which gives me 25 total measurements. I'm gonna also number the bottom cord. That way I don't get any of my measurements mixed up and get one behind or ahead as I'm doing this. Next up, starting from the center, I'm gonna number this bottom cord across from one to 25. And now it's just a process of taking my measurements from my drawing and then marking up on each plumb line. things I didn't mention to get my straight line across I used a string very carefully and then I very carefully nailed a block in the center of this whole thing on that string line uh, to make sure that I didn't bump my string inadvertently and get things off so then my top of my board right there represents that string line which I made my marks on 
So now all my measurements are plumbed up, I've got it marked. Now I need to bend a piece of wood around and hit those marks and that'll give me a nice sweeping arch uh, that I can mark and then cut out with a jigsaw, just getting it close and then I'll run a router and show you how that process works. Just giving you a little bit closer view. Here I've got my string clamped on and then you'll see on that piece of red oak all the, the plumb line and then the mark that my measurements are made on as well as you can see the four inch marks hopefully on that bottom cord along with the number.